Some of you are here and you're not Christians. You're thinking this is a lecture about money. First of all, it's a lecture about Jesus. Some of you would come and ask, well, how does someone become a Christian? What do they do? No, it's not what they do, it's what he's done. It's not what they give to Jesus, it's what they receive from Jesus, right Christians? We come to God, not with our hands full. God, here's all the good things I've done for you. We come with our hands empty. Jesus, I need you to give to me. Forgiveness of sin, salvation, reconciled relationship with God the Father, the Holy Spirit, eternal life. Jesus is the greatest giver, the most generous giver in the history of the world. Everyone who is a Christian knows because they have experienced that Jesus gives generously. Just think about it. I mean, one of the things I like to do with the Driscoll kids is I want them to have an attitude of gratitude. And what can happen is even in our prayer life, your prayer life can become exclusively, God, please give me this, please give me this, please do this, please do that, please give me this, please do that. It's also very important to pray what I like to call thankful prayer. So sometimes, oftentimes at night or around dinner, I ask the kids, what are you thankful for today? What are you thankful for? To see where Jesus has been giving. And some parents will say, well, I don't wanna spoil my kids. I do, okay? I do. I just don't want them to act spoiled. There's a difference, right? You can give generously to your kids. You can love them, bless them, ice cream, hugs. I'll throw you in the pool. Let's hang out. You can be generous and raise kids who are thankful because they've learned, oh, that's a gift, that's a gift, that was nice, thank you, I don't deserve that, that was grace. Oh, and it ultimately all comes from the Lord. It all comes from the Lord. And that cultivates an attitude of gratitude. Start to think about it in this way. What do you have that God has given? Okay, the earth, nice planet, right? Custom built for you and I. Much cooler than the sun, thankfully. It's a great planet. Hey, thanks, Lord. Nice earth. You like water? He made it. You like sun? He made it. You like air? I do. He made it. He made it. You like your sins forgiven? That's a gift. You like God's love? That's a gift. You like eternal life? That's a gift. You looking forward to the resurrection of the dead? Another gift. How about living in the Father's house forever in the place that Jesus built? Gift. How about brothers and sisters in Christ and the church or the scriptures or a spiritual gift to do ministry? You know what it all is? It's all a gift, Marcel. The more we understand that Jesus is the most generous giver, we realize we don't give so that he would love us. We give because he does. We don't give to get. We give because we've already received. We have an attitude of gratitude. We say, we're the children of God and our dad's a good dad and Jesus is our big brother and he gives generously and gladly and we receive humbly and thankfully so we can also share generously. It's like dad giving a kid two popsicles and the kid knows I'm supposed to give one to my brother. And that's the view of stewardship in the Bible. And so he talks about it in this way. It's a grace, it's an unmerited gift. It's something we don't deserve. It comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. He was rich and became poor. So it's not about rich and poor. Poor people can be like Jesus. Rich people can be like Jesus because rich and poor, well, Jesus has experienced both, amen? So we could set aside all this class warfare, socialism, communism, conflict, set aside a lot of the economic arguments and get back to Jesus. And that's exactly where he takes us, looking at Jesus, giving us his righteousness, giving us his salvation, giving us his sinless life, giving us his substitutionary death, giving us his forgiveness of sin. And what that does, that causes us to receive, to receive the good things that Jesus gives and then have a heart change that compels us to want to share them because that's all worship is. It's mirroring, imaging, reflecting who Jesus is to others. Each year, over 10 million Mars Hill Church sermons are downloaded worldwide for free. This ministry is generously supported by Mars Hill Church members and listeners like you. 
If you'd like to support our efforts to preach Jesus to the world, please consider making a tax-deductible donation by visiting marshill.com give.